They discovered these unusual heads, but they could not understand what they were. They had engravings, and they describe a world beyond our Earth. You could see various entities landing with what looks like a spacecraft. Look at this one here. Seems to be beaming something down from the center, the underbelly of the craft. And then there's, uh, uh, on, the, on, the, uh, on the floor, there seems to be a sleeping stasis giant or whatever it is. Um, now, they seem to be from somewhere else. They're coming down from the sky. When one thinks of ancient civilizations, they remember the Maya. But the Aztecs came later. Aztec families collect relics and were asked to collect them for examination. There are many objects that look like helmets and have elongated faces and large eyes. Most of them are made of precious metals such as gold and copper. There are some that are made of stone and the heads seem to have comets and some kind of aircraft engraved on them. The Aztec Empire was very advanced. They had an irrigation system in complex cities. When one looks at these relics, one is probably wondering if they are authentic pieces. Although not yet dated, they do not appear to have been made using modern equipment, modern techniques. The strange thing is that many of them seem to have engraved flying saucers and spaceships and depict the beings that came from within them, like quote-unquote gods from the skies. Some of the creatures depicted look like angels with wings. More than 400 such relics were examined, and these are just some of them. Very strange looking things. Most of them have what we would say looks like a flying saucer. And also uh, shapes of astronauts. And also something having to do with the sun and astronauts or maybe stargates or portals from the sun uh, emitting what we would say UFOs, and the one last one here has an astronaut with a helmet sitting on the top of the dome of a UFO. This is not the first time that uh, scientists have uh, pondered whether the sun or stars can be used as wormholes or portals for space travel. I've translated this for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.
kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.